Hello again, I'm Zikis once more and uh, in this video I'm going to demo the shields. You can see I have two relay shields. The lower one is connected to Digital Pin 2 of the Arduino processor and the upper one is connected to Digital Pin 3 of the processor, uh, each one with its own cable for the selection pin. And on the top I have the I.O. board which I have connected the selection pin to pin 4 of the Arduino processor and this cable acts as a switch uh, the leftmost one is the ground so if I connect the ground to the pin ne right next to it I'm closing the circuit so it's as if I'm pushing a button uh, the code acts as follows as long as the button is connected it's going to alternatively flip the relays as you will see. Now, as, you, as I said, the FTDI header is right here, so I can just use this FTDI board and connect it. And I've already uploaded the code, but if you don't believe me, you can see the code uh, on the website. Uh, all I have to do is press upload and it's loaded and it's also powering the board as you can see uh, now the, the upper board is now high and as soon as I press the button you'll see that it'll start flipping every one second and as soon as I stop pressing the button they just stay like they are and let me it once more. You should also be able to listen to the clicking sound of the relay if you don't believe me. And that's about it. And as I said, if we want to, we can just add the next B shield, give it some power from the power connection connectors, and it's a pretty small well this big uh, relay controller. I'm actually using these to control my shutters and compared to other solutions they're pretty pretty small because as you can see I have two buttons, I can have up to four buttons or uh, other IOs and two relays and the next B of course and the Arduino itself. 